and welcome to Tipping Point. It's the start of a brand new series, and we've got a brand new setup. Three players will be facing our machine, and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Michelle, a cashier from South Wales. I'm Arif, a civil servant from Cambridge. And I'm Kaylee, a student support officer from Lincoln. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add 50 pounds to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop and should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will go through to round two, but you want to try and bank as much money as you possibly can. So keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hands yeah. on your buzzers. It comes to your first question. Limerick and Kerry are two of the counties of Munster in which European country? Harry, Northern Ireland. No, it's not. It's the Republic. It's Ireland, not Northern oh. Ireland. Arif, I'm afraid you're wrong. I'm afraid we're going to have to steal a counter from you. That's going to go into the penalty spot. You're all going to get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. You've got two still to play, Arif. Next question. Which two-word Italian expression, literally meaning to the tooth, typically refers to pasta that is cooked but still firm? Michelle. Al dente. Firm to the bite. Al dente indeed, Michelle. That's more like it. Well done, you. First correct answer. So the first choice. Would you like to play or would you like to pass to Arif or Kaylee? I'll pass to Arif. Right, here we go. Let's get something out of the machine. Where do you want to play? Drop zone one. Let's have drop zone one, please. Double counter on the bottom shelf there. Maybe get that moving. Let's see what your timing's like. Very nice. Ooh, really wicked drop. Is it riding? It's riding, it is. It just uh, came out too fast. Kidding. I thought you timed that brilliantly, yeah. Arif, but no. Flew out of the machine and just bounced up. That's really cool. Very nice pass from Michelle, but nothing for you, I'm afraid, Arif. You've just got one counter left in this round okay. now. Next question. Completed in 1937 and with a main span of 1,280 metres, which world-famous bridge in San Francisco is painted, Michelle? The Golden Gate Bridge. Painted in a colour called International Orange. You're absolutely right, Michelle. So, ready to play this time, or are you going to pass again? Uh, no, I think I'll pass again. You're going to pass to Arif again or Kaylee? Kaylee. Kaylee, your chance to get into it now. Where do you want to go? I'm thinking drop zone two for that mystery counter. Let's give it a go. Fire it up, please. So one on the top and one on the bottom as well, isn't there? Yeah, nicely timed and a steadier drop. Settled very nicely. It's looking OK. Just alongside oh. the mystery. Couple okay. over the top shelf. Nice. Take that. Go on now, go on now. Yeah, we okay. emerge that Wrong. silver one. Squeeze it through and it drops into the wind zone. It's £50 for you there, Kaylee. Let's take the money and put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark. And you've still got two counters left to play. Here comes your next question. Which 1967 animated Disney film features the song Trust in Me, sung by Kaylee? The Jungle Book. Sung by a snake called Car. It is the Jungle Book, you're absolutely right. And now, are you going to play again, Kaylee, or would you like to pass? I'm going to play Drop Zone 2 again. Please. Right, straight back in. Fire it up, please. Here we go. Go on the other side this time. Is that better, Kaylee, do you think? It's flat, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, can we get some more out of the bottom the shelf? Oh, yeah, shuffling the shelf. They're amassing nicely, but nothing to add. So you stay on 50 pounds. You still have one counter left. Here comes your next question. The historic document sealed by King John in 1215 is best known by which two-word Latin shell? The Magna Carta. Two-word Latin name meaning Great Charter. It is the Magna Carta. Right, Michelle, are you ready to play yet? I think there's a few hanging on drops on two, so I'll go for drops on two. Please. Let's do it. Light up two, please. Busy drop. That settles nicely. Harry likes it. Let's bring that mystery forward. Is it going to drop in? Yes, it does. Yeah. Kaylee's left a few on the tipping point. You're going to get your hands on them. 
Two of them do drop for you. Well done, Michelle. That'll sneak you into the lead. £100 for those two silver counters. Let's put it straight in your bank. And you've still got two counters left to play as question. A mochaccino is a variety of coffee that is typically flavoured with which sweet Chocolate. foodstuff derived from cacao beans? Michelle. Chocolate. It is chocolate. Yes, of course it is. Going straight back in, Michelle? Yeah, I think I'll go for drops on two, Ben. Still looks very juicy, doesn't it? Let's yeah. have two. Rattles down, settles well. Something over the top. Oh! Ooh, no. Nothing else. Just leave them staggered on the top shelf. So as things stand, you all have one counter left. Here's your next question. Which luxury fashion magazine shares its title with a 1990 UK number Vogue. one single by Michelle? Vogue. By Madonna, it is Vogue, Michelle. Yes, well done. Right, your last count. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? I'll play, Ben. Drops on two, please. Let's do it. Bar up two. There. Yes. Okay. Surely this time, Michelle. Lovely stuff. They're the ones you left with your last drop. And it's the tipping point. I'm gonna go for you. Oh! <laughs> thought you'd get a few more. <laughs> two did drop, including the one that threw itself out of the machine. So we can give you £100 for those two. That's going to double your score. And when we put it into your bank, it's going to leave you on £200. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Okay. So, Arif, you still have one counter left. And Kaylee, you've got one as well. Next question for you two. Richie branches out and Fonzie's hero are episodes of which US sitcom set during the 1950s and 60s? Arif. Happy days. It is happy days. Yes, Eric. Uh, it would be happy days if you oh. come back from last place here. You're going to play you're going to pass? Uh, I'll play. I'll try drop zone two. Let's do it. Bar up two. Top shelf's looking a bit patchy, but the bottom yeah. shelf looks great, doesn't it? What do we think, Harry? Oh, oh, I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure. Come on now, go on now, go on now. Go on. Oh. oh, no. Kidding. You've had no joy with your oh. drops from that first rider through to there. Yeah. For the time being, though, that's all three of your yeah. counters used. So you are out. Kaylee, it's just you. Because it's just you, you don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Here we go. Featuring in the titles of hits by Black Lace and Miami Sound Machine, which novelty party dance is typically performed by a line of people moving forward in a series of steps and kicks? The conga? It is the conga, yes. Nicely done, Kaylee. Lovely. Right, one last counter for you. I think they've all lined up nicely for drop zone two to try and get that one off the edge. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Fire up two. Nice drop, good settle. One of you is owed a big drop. Okay, Will it be please. you, Kaylee? Oh, okay. yeah, to three okay. as well. There's a bit of a gap on two. Yeah, there is that gap there. Oh, not too bad in the okay. end. Thought you'd get a few more, but four is good because that's going to put you in the lead. £200 right Thank there. You. That's going to sneak you ahead of Michelle. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank, and that'll leave you on £250. Just ahead of Michelle with £200. Arif has nothing at the moment, but it's not over. We do have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot, so I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you'll be frozen out. Here comes your penalty pot question. What whole number is one third of 3,000? Harry. Thousand. It is a thousand. Well done. Right. Let's get you some money if we can. What are you thinking, looking at the machine? I think I'll try drop zone two. It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. Bar up drop zone two. There. Now, flat. Four counters and you catch Michelle. Five and you catch Kaylee. Is this going to unlock the tipping point? Are they going to go? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Six counters will oh, put wow. you in the lead, Eric. What oh, a comeback. Brilliant. 300 pounds right there. Well done. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight into your bank. And that drop right there has changed the scores. Arif is leading with 300 pounds. He's just ahead of Kaylee, who has 250 pounds. Michelle has 200 pounds. It is very close indeed. Join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head to head and a shot at our 10,000 pound jackpot. See you in a bit. It's where Michelle, Arif and Kaylee are all battling it out for the right to play for our jackpot today. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, 
This time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Arif, after that fabulous comeback, you are now leading, which means you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Or would you like to ask Michelle or Kaylee to play? Um, I'll play first. All right, then, here we go. 45 seconds for Arif, please. Your time starts now. With pastel-coloured plumage, the lilac-breasted roller belongs to which class of winged animals? Birds. Correct. Which Labour politician served as Prime Minister in between John Major and Gordon Brown? Tony Blair. Correct. Known as Music City, what is the state capital of Tennessee? Nashville. I Illinois. Nashville. In the night sky, Regulus and Denebola are bright stars in which zodiacal constellation? Uh, Capricorn. Leo. The term typically used to describe the first meal of the day is a combination of break and what other word? Bath. Correct. The rabbit Bigwig is a character in which 1972 Richard Adams novel? Uh, Watch it down. Correct. The initials in the name of the men's fashion magazine GQ stand for Gentleman's What? Quality. Oh, it's not, do you know, it's not far off. It's quarterly. Oh. Gentleman's quarterly. You got right. four correct answers in there, Arif. Not bad at all. Four counts put into the machine. So where would you like to start? Drop zone one, I think. I, I'm going to try it again. Let's try it. Drop zone one, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice settle. That came out much more controlled, didn't it? Top shelf's working for you already. It's good. And the bottom shelf, you've got a few from all the drops into two. Oh, Very nice start. Oh. You've got some that are twerking on the tipping point. But two counters gets you off the mark. £100 for those two. Uh, you've still got three more to put in. OK, uh, I'll stick with drops on one. Let's have one again, please. There we go, yes. Oh, yes. That could be... Could be very nice. The one next to it. Yeah, oh, here we go. Look at that. I think you're going to take that. Come on. Little cluster out. Ooh, oh, wow. very nice. Oh, so wow. Just keep an eye on the top shelf there, because that black yep. counter, it's sort of defying physics at the moment. <laughs> How's it doing that? Yeah. No idea. Oh, oh. just riding. Nothing yep. else drops. Ten across the tipping point wow. there. Yeah. Lovely drop. 500 pounds. That's more like it. Up to 600 pounds. Still got two more to go. Uh, I'll stick with drop zone one. Let's have one again, please. Desperate to get that double. Yeah, it's not gone left yet, have we? No, I know. A couple yeah. on the left could do it. Smooth finish to that one on the right again. Could be all right. I think hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Couple here. And the Come tipping on. point. You just cleaned it out a touch. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that. No, it's going to stay there. I've okay. got one more to go, though. Uh, drops on one again. One last hit for drops on one, please. Middle. Ooh, what are we thinking? Nah, I think it's that top shelf might Ooh, just bail on you. Set up nicely. It has been set up nicely. There's still some dangles. The double's still in there, but yeah. 600 pounds is a decent good. return. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. take it, put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on 900 pounds. Well done. Okay. Uh, okay. Kaylee, you are just 50 pounds ahead of Michelle, but it's a vital 50 pounds. So it means you get to choose. Would you like to play next or would you like Michelle to play? I think I'd like to play. Okay. 45 seconds for Kaylee, please. The time starts now. In Roald Dahl's Dirty Beasts poems, what type of large amphibious reptile is Crockywok? A crocodile. Correct. What one-word name is typically given to a freestanding upright wooden frame that supports a painter's canvas? Uh, easel. Correct. The Velvet Divorce is a nickname given to the dissolution of Czechoslovakia into the Czech Republic and which other country? Yugoslavia. Slovakia. Which former high school musical star hosts the 2020 Netflix travel series Down to Earth? It's like Efron. Correct. Which social media company is listed on the New York Stock Exchange with the code FB? Facebook. Correct. Tunnock's milk chocolate tea cakes are traditionally wrapped in foil of silver and which primary Red. colour? Correct. In 2020, which West Country rugby union team reached their first major European trophy final? Wales. Exeter Chiefs. What is the name of the letter that immediately... Out of time with this one. Didn't need it, though. What is the name of the letter that immediately follows Kappa in the classical Greek alphabet? L. It, ye, Lima. <laughs> lambda. Oh. I think it's Lambda. <laughs> well. uh, five correct answers, Kaylee. Very mm. nicely done. Five counts put into the machine. Where do you want to start? Drop zone three. Light up drop zone three. Ooh, that okay. should help the double. Okay. Certainly shift things around. 
Some in two can go. Yeah, there's that one in two. A little bit of lateral towards the mystery would be nice. There we go. Okay. Start. Start with those two. Hundred pounds. Stay me three. Yes, please. Three again. Just didn't want to settle, did it? No. Give it a ride. Hopefully not. Oh, we got it flat. Oh, that's okay. flat. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Now, at least give things a bit of a move around. I hopefully. think it will. I'm not sure something's going over unless the double fancies it. A little nibble. They're that's amassing okay. nicely. Still got three more to go, Kaylee. Thank you. Stick with drop zone three, please. Let's have three again. Yeah, that okay. is good. That should shift the double down at least. There we go. Hopefully try and push those down. That Good broad shove. Is the mystery going to go? It's going to get close. Yeah. Oh, wow. happy days. <laughs> Kaylee, 11 more across the tipping point. Another 550 pounds. Thank you very much. We're up to 650 pounds. Uh, and you've also got your hands on a mystery counter, which is nestled in the wind zone. You've won yourself a six-month beauty box subscription courtesy of Rockerbox. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, we've still got two more counters to put in as well. So where do you fancy going now? I'm going to try and finish a reef's unfinished business in drop zone okay. one. OK, let's so go back see to one. one. Hanging over. Fire up one, please. Ooh. Stays on its okay. edge. No, oh, that might ride. No? Ooh. Oh, it's bad. You managed okay. to get that oh, down. That's good. good. Still not quite on the left-hand side, which we're all aiming for. Yeah. Least, but it might nudge. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say go flat. A reached angle, I might go. Oh! No! It's clinging on okay. somehow. OK. But the double did move. Now you've got one counter left to do. What are you thinking about this one? I'm going to go with drop zone one again, please. Let's do it. Fire up one, please. Oh, perfect. OK, it's yeah, flat. Nice. Still not on the left side. Hopefully nudge that silver one. Bit of lateral could do it. Ooh, Hopefully there. It could go in that gap. Oh, you got it. Well done. Four more for you there, Kaylee. Thank Another two hundred pounds. And when we take that eight hundred fifty from the machine and put it in your bank, you have now taken the lead with one thousand one hundred pounds. So well done. Well, you thank mate. you very much. Right, Michelle, we come to you. Forty-five seconds for Michelle, please. Your time starts now. Which rock and roll singer had UK hits in the nineteen fifties with Hound Dog and Love Me Tender? Elvis Presley. Correct. What is the official national unit of currency used in Pakistan? The rupee. Correct. Who won a Best Actress Golden Globe in 2020 for her starring role in the BBC sitcom Fleabag? Um, oh, pass. Phoebe Waller-Bridge. What is the name for the traditional Japanese style of fencing that uses a two-handed wooden sword? Pass. Kendo. The laughing emoji called Face with Tears of Joy has tears that are typically a pale shade of which primary colour? Blue. Correct. The condiment perinase is a peri-peri mayonnaise made by which South African fast food chain? Nando's. Correct. Ella and Cole Emhoff are the stepchildren of which US vice president? Donald Trump. It's Kamala Harris. Oh. The vice president of Joe <laughs> Biden, oh, of course. Sorry. Four correct answers for you, Michelle. Well okay. done. Four counts put into the machine. You need to try and catch Arif. We need 14 out. What are you thinking? Well, the only way I'm going to do that is by getting the double counter, so I'm going to go and drop some one. Let's do it. Fire up one, please. Oh. That one that's on the left, isn't it? Uh, uh, no one's got it that far left yet. Is it going to be flat for you, Michelle? It is, yes. Is that, yeah. yeah, brilliant. So, with 14 counts to catch, Harry fits seven with the double. Oh, now, will you do it in one drop? Oh, oh you yes. done it. <laughs> yeah. Michelle, you needed 14 counts to catch, Harry. That's eight across the tipping point, oh. which is 400 pounds. But, of course, one of them is that all-important double, so we can double it up and give you another £400, and that'll be enough to pass Arif. So very nicely well done. done by you, Arif. I'm afraid that means we're going to lose you at the yeah. end of this round. Uh, you've still got three more to put in. So, setting our sights on Kaylee now. She's just two counters ahead of you, Michelle. Where do you want to go next? I think I might go for drops on four. Yeah, not been there yet. Let's have no. drops on four, please. Right, 
rattles down, settles as a few amassing between three and four, though, isn't there? Well, it's four. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Just need two to catch Kaylee. Ooh. Sheen's going to tease you a bit longer. <laughs> OK, two more to go, Michelle. Staying with four? Yes, please, Ben. Drops on four. Drops on four, please. There you go. Similar side. Tipping point looks good. Is the top shelf good there, though? Might be all it needs. Just one solitary counter. And oh, 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 well done, Michelle. Five more for you, so another £250. Okay. Going along very nicely. Up to £1,050 in the machine. And one more count to put in. I'll stick with drops on four, please, Ben. Let's have drops on four. <laughs> Flies around the drop zone, settles on the right. I think that Looking. might be a bit heavy. Yeah. Is it going to disappear or are we going to get something over? I'm not sure. Might get a couple. Go on now. Oh, oh, I made it, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, well done. Yeah. <laughs> Five more to finish off with Michelle. Another £250. Very successful trip for you. Let's take that £1,300 and put it into your bank. What a topsy-turvy round it was. All changed by the end, because Michelle, who was in third, is now leading with £1,500. Kaylee goes through with £1,100. Arif, I'm so sorry. It was such a great yeah. comeback. But I'm afraid with £900, that means we have found your tip point. Thank you for playing. No, thank you. It's been yeah. great to meet you. Yeah, really enjoyed it. So it is Michelle and Kaylee who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jacket. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Michelle and Kaylee. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. Thank you. We're about to find out which one he's going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Uh, Michelle, you are leading, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question? We'd like to offer it to Kaylee. I think I'll take the first question, please, Ben. OK, first one for you, Michelle. Three of the UK's top ten best-selling albums of the 2010s were by which singer-songwriter? You can play or pass this. I have an idea, but do I risk it or do I not? No, I think I'll pass to Kaylee. Passing over? Don't want yeah. to take the risk. Right, no. Kaylee. Good opportunity for you here. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think I'm going to go with Beyonce. Going with Beyonce. All right. Michelle, what were you thinking? I would have said Adele. You might have gone Adele. Let's see. Has Kaylee found the right answer? It'd be a great steal if you have. Was it Beyonce? <laughs> it was Ed Sheeran. It was oh, Adele. Oh. Adele had the top two, but Ed Sheeran had three in the top wow. ten. Multiply, divide and plus. Michelle, you get to put the count in the machine. Where do you want to go? I I think I'll go for drops on four. Drops on four it is. Right. Mm. Is that where you wanted it? Well, could have been to the left a little bit. No, no, well, maybe all. not. <laughs> Bottom shelf, bits fast that side, little squeeze here and there. Oh. Mm. Sets up a fair old shelf there. They're going to remain in the machine. Right, Kaylee, we come to you. Time for your first question. Nicknamed the scientist. Right, Kaylee isn't sure. Michelle, any ideas? Rugby, football, boxing. Um, I'm going to go for boxing, Ben. Going with boxing, OK. Yeah. Kaylee, do you have any ideas? I was thinking either something like rugby or maybe pool or something, or snooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you might have to kind of think about angles and something things. Something with a bit of skill involved. still not necessarily science. No, OK. Let's see if you're right, Michelle. Bryson DeChambeau. Is he famous in the world of boxing? No, he's golf. He's oh, a golfer. He won oh, the 2020 US Open. That didn't even enter my head. Uh, good pass in the end for you. You get the counter. Well Thank done. You. Michelle was wrong. Where do you want to put it? It's a bit risky because of that gap on the bottom shelf of drop zone four, but I think I'm going to go with four because the top shelf looks quite full. Fire up four, please. Okay. That now, looks, that looks is it going to split? Hopeful. Is anything going over the top shelf? Come on now. Just on the end. <laughs> Just when you think it looks hopeful. Right, Michelle, you get control. Time for your second question. In total, how many Stuart Kings of England had the regnal name James? You can pass if you don't know. I did try to do some swatting on this. How did it go? 
not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to pass it. Right, Kaylee. any ideas? OK, so in my head, I'm thinking what sounds kind of normal. So King James the second, King James the third. I'm thinking maybe three or four. Um, I think I'm going to go with three. Three? OK. Michelle, did you have an inkling? I would have said two. You might have gone two. Yeah. There or thereabouts, OK, let's see if you're right. Is the answer three? It is only two, actually. Oh, James I I first, anyway. 1603 to 1625, and James II was 1685 to 1688. That worked out in the end, Michelle. It did. If you get the counter, where do you want to go? I'm going to go for drops on four, please. Four, on four please. Right hand side, please. Oh, just skipped away, didn't it? Yeah. Now, is that going to go? A little bit heavy. Flat. Is it yep, flat? It's yeah. Flat. That looks like it's going to nudge those. It does, doesn't it? It looks like with a bit of lateral, the stuff on the right hand side's going to go. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, there's the gap. Can it get close Where enough to get the action? Oh, oh, we can. Well oh. done. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Eight counters for you, Michelle. A lot of hard work had gone into building that up. £400. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £1,900. Right, Kaylee, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Thank you. What is the name of the principal red-nosed clown played by Justin Fletcher in the children's TV programme, Something Special? This is tricky because I know Michelle has children, which might mean that she's watched this programme. <laughs> um, I have an idea, but I don't think I want to risk it, so I'm going to pass. Right, Michelle. Have you ever watched Something Special? Never. <laughs> right, so we need the name of the principal red-nosed clown. No idea. Complete guess. I think I'm going to go with Charlie. Charlie? OK. Yeah. Kaylee, did you have any ideas? I had Mr Tumble in my head, oh. but I'm not sure if that's a different programme. <laughs> you had a Mr Tumble. I'm not sure yeah. who or what it is. How old are your daughters, Michelle? Oh, 26 and 23. OK, so you maybe not watched this no. programme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, though. Is Michelle right? Is it Charlie? <laughs> no, it is Mr Tumble. OK, It yeah, is Mr okay. Tumble. Well done, Kaylee. Good pass in the end. Uh, Michelle was wrong, so you get the counter. Let's get you some money if we can. I'm going to go with drop zone three, please. Far up three, please. <laughs> On the right would be very nice. Oh, it's going to go yeah. in the gap, I think. Might be OK, might be OK. Yeah, it's a good one. Good squeeze. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. There we go, right now. And here's the issue. The much. tipping point is a little sparse. Mm. But we got one in. Let's come back to Michelle. Time for your third and final question, Michelle. Based on a novel by Daphne du Maurier, which 2020 film stars Lily James as the second Mrs de Winter? Just had a little ambient drop over in drop zone four. Just going to fill a gap, though. Michelle, any ideas? I think I'm going to pass it. Oh, we could do with stealing this one, Kaylee. Any thoughts, any ideas? Got in my head the um, Beatrix Potter film with Roald Dahl in it, but I can't even remember what that was called now. <laughs> but it probably isn't that one anyway. Um, I can't even hazard a guess, I don't think. I'm going to have to go with Potter and Dahl. Potter and Dahl? Kaylee, let's see if it is... Potter and Dahl. <laughs> Rebecca was the name of the film. Rebecca is the book. Uh, it was the other way around. The film, well, it's not Potter and Dahl, it's Rolled and Beatrix. Oh, OK. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But it wasn't right anyway. No, 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 it wasn't right. <laughs> uh, so sadly, you were wrong, but Michelle, good pass. You get the counter. Where do you want to go? I think I'll go for drop on three, please. Drop on three it is. <laughs> and it has yeah. gone to the right. The top shelf is full there. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> One sneaks out for you, Michelle. <laughs> £50 across the tipping points. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Put your £1,950. We're coming to you, Kaylee. One last crack at this. Time for your third question. Alongside Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune, which other planet makes up the solar system's giant planets? I'm going to... Play this one. Great. So I'm thinking of the order of the planets. Okay. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. And the only one in the middle of that is Saturn. I know it is big, it's got rings. So I'm going to go with Saturn. We're going with Saturn? Yes, please. Right. Let's see if you're right, Kaylee. One last count if you are. Is the other giant planet Saturn? Yes. The <laughs> second <laughs> largest after Jupiter. Nine times wider than the Earth. There we go. That's not small. Uh, right, Kaylee, where are we going to go? It doesn't look like there are 17 there waiting for me. 
So I think I'm going to go for drop zone two and just see if I can try and get that mystery counter up. Far up two, please. Quick drop. Rattles down. Let's have something over the top shelf. Come on, machine. Are we going to get anything? Oh! oh. <laughs> It was always going to be a tough ask, Gailey. That's okay. Sadly, it just wasn't to be for you today because at the end of the round, with £1,950, Michelle, very well played. Thank you are you, today's winner. Congratulations Thanks. to you. Kaylee, you've been absolutely fab, but I'm afraid with £1,100, we have found you to point. Of course, you had already won your Beauty Box subscription as well. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's been, been a amazing. treat. It's been lovely to meet you. Uh, Michelle, well done. As Thank our you. champion in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. And this one's bigger and better than all the others. Because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Michelle master the machine by finding a jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Jackpot today, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, so you can get this drop with that double that's still sitting there on the bottom shelf of drop zone three. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counts into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. OK. Yeah. So, when it comes to the jackpot counter, Michelle, what are you thinking? Well, when I'm watching this at home, Ben, I'm always shouting at the contestants to either go in one or four. Right. Obviously, the double counter is in drop zone three, and the shelves are quite full. Um, despite my instincts telling me not to, I think I'm going to go for drop zone three, Ben. Fire up drop zone three, please. So this is an important drop. Be ready for it, Michelle. Okay. There we go. So, nice settle. Squeezes up, and then as it comes forward, hopefully it will gather the double. Hey. Bahamas and New York on our minds, so let's <laughs> see if we can get you there. Right, let's have a look at your endgame subjects, Michelle. This is what we've got for you. Geography, music, sport, architecture, TV and nature. We can play in any order you like, so when you're ready, where do you want to start and how many? I think I'm going to go from my worst subject up to my best subject. OK. Um, so I think I will start with sport, Ben. Starting with sport? Yeah. How many are we going to go for? I'm either going to know it or I'm not. Um, so I'm just going to go for three. Great. OK, we're going to go sport for three to get started, please. In the bicycle race, the Tour de France, what is the name given to the rider who is last in the overall standings? Maillot Vert, Lanterne Rouge or Classement d'Equipe? How's your French? Should you speak a bit? Rouge is red, vert is green. Classement d'équipe. That might be something for equipment. Ben, I've no idea. I think I am going to go in the middle with Lantern Rouge. Right. We're going to light up Lantern Rouge, please. Not sure about this one. We started with your worst subject. Yeah. If we're right, it's a huge bonus. Yeah. The person who is last in the Tour de France, are they the Lantern Rouge? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was brilliant. Well done. That was lucky. Three counters for sport. Mm -hmm. Drop zone three? Yeah, please, Ben. Add it up, please. OK. So, not near the jackpot just yet, no. but there is, as you say, a lot on the bottom shelf. Yeah. Oh. Hopefully, we'll move the double forward as well. We'll spread here. Oh. Nice start. <laughs> 12 for you there, so 600 pounds. Very nice. Takes us up to 2,550. Two more to go in. Drop zone three again. Drop zone three, please, Ben. Light it up, please. Oh. There, that's the one. That is the one. Stay right on it. Squeeze it forward. Nicely oh. done, Michelle. Come on. Good Flips on. nicely. Two. Oh. Another five for you there. So another 250 pounds. Up to 2,800. And one more to put in as well. OK, drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's have drop zone three. On that left hand side again. Go on, go on. Oh, Michelle, whoa. <laughs> you are not the long term rouge here. Whoa. Come on now. Just go round the double at all. There we go. One goes in. We'll leave the double <laughs> just perched on the edge. 50 pounds for you, though. 2,850 pounds. We're on the bottom shelf in just three counters. That's a great start. Well done. Yeah. Right, let's go back to the categories. So we're working worst to best. Well, I think architecture. I have no clue. Um, so I'm going to go for architecture, please, Ben. Right. And how many? Three, please. 
Architecture for three. What name is given to a triangular stone at the top of an arch that locks the other stones in place? Lodestone, whetstone or keystone? Never heard of any of them. Um, so if it's at the top of an arch, it's probably trying, it's load bearing. Lodestone, whetstone, yeah, keystone. So I think it might be lodestone, just the fact that it needs to be strong to hold the load yeah. of the stones, if you, if you know what I mean. I think I'm going to go for lodestone, yes. Okay, we're going to line up lodestone, please. Let's see if you're right here, Michelle. Is it the lodestone? It's keystone. Oh. Uh, lodestone is actually a magnetic mineral. Not to worry, that would have been okay. a bonus. We're still in great yeah, shape. Yeah, that's Let's fine. Let's go back to the categories. Where next? They're all much of a match now. I think I'll just go with geography, Ben. Please. Right, we're going to hit geography for how many? Uh, three. Geography yeah. three. Gold Coast is a city in which state of Australia? Victoria, New South Wales or Queensland? Ever been to Australia? No, I have family in Australia. Whereabouts are they? They live in Queensland, in uh, Cairns. Right. Um, the Gold Coast, I presume, is where all the surfers and all the water sports are. And they live near the coast. Ben, I'm going to go for Queensland. Queensland? Yeah, I have no idea, and that's just a pure guess. It's where your family are. Yeah. It's a bit of instinct there. Yeah. Let's see if they're going to help you from the other side of the world. We're going with Queensland, please. Gold Coast is a city in which state of Australia? Would you find it in Queensland? Yeah, it's just south of Brisbane. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. They're Excellent. helping you from the other side they of the are, world. They right. are. <laughs> right, three counters for you. Drop zone three. Drop zone three. Come on, Michelle. Ben. Fire up three, please. Let's do this. Ooh. Now, is it going to slide into the gap? Oh, it's going to move forward. Oh, oh, oh Michelle, ben. steady on. Drops. <laughs> 200 pounds goes in. Let's put that up. Takes you up to 3,050. And we can double it up and give you another 200 pounds. So we're up to 3,250 pounds. Two more to go in. Okay. Drops on three, please, Ben. Let's have three. <laughs> that side, that's oh. all. Been a magnet down that side, hasn't it? It's been a load slide. It does. <laughs> I'm going to fill up the shelf. That's OK. We need to fill those gaps. We've got a long yeah. way to go as well. Yeah. Three again? Yes, please, Ben. Light it up, please. Oh, wrong side. I Never mind. That. It needs to yeah, a few fill it up a little bit. Space to fill. OK, nicely done. We're right on the tipping point. Really good shape. Categories. We're halfway. Um, I'm going to leave TV to last because I think I watch quite a lot of television, so I've got a good chance of that. I think I'll go with nature, Ben, and I'll go for three counters. We'll have nature for three, please. Known for its small red-orange berries, the mountain ash tree is more commonly known by what one-word name? Aspen, hornbeam or rowan? I think I'm going to go for aspen. Um, my reason being America, when you watch films and things from America, they go into the aspen trees on the, in the mountains. Right. So I think I'm going to go with aspen. OK. Should we light it up? Yeah, like We're going to go with aspen. Let's see if you're right here, Michelle. The mountain ash tree. Is it more commonly known as the aspen? the rowan. Oh. It grows at high altitudes. Its leaves right. similar to ash trees. Were you thinking of Colorado? Aspen, Colorado, yes. where the yeah. ski resort and stuff yeah. like that is? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Do you know what? It would have been oh, fabulous to get that right because we're very, very close. The good news is we've still got two categories to play with. Uh, music next. Music, Ben. Could be any anything, so I'm just going to go with for three. Music for three. Yeah. The 2020 UK Top 10 single, Prisoner, by Miley Cyrus, features which singer? Dua Lipa, Rita Ora, or Zara Larsson? I've heard of them all, obviously. Right. Um, I've no clue. I'm just going to go with Zara Larsson, Ben. OK. I have no clue why. 
That's just, just my gut feeling. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go with Zara yeah. Larson then. Top ten single by Miley Cyrus, Prisoner. Did it feature Zara Larson? Oh, what is Dua Lipa? Right. OK. OK. So we were flying. We were. Six counters. We're on the tipping point yeah. with the jackpot. We just need a correct answer. Yeah. We have one category left, which you've been saving till the end. Yeah. TV. For three, Ben. Let's do it. TV for three. In the 2020 drama series, Mrs. America, starring Kate Blanchett, who portrays Gloria Steinem? Rose Byrne. Rose Leslie or Rose McGowan? Did you watch this series? Never heard of it. Oh, it's <laughs> fantastic. <sighs> and I've never heard of any of them. So <sighs> this is a poor, poor guess. Let's go Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan? Rose McGowan. Should we let it up? Yeah. We're going to go with Rose McGowan, please. Mrs. America. One of those actresses played Gloria Steinem. Was it Rose McGowan? Oh, it was Rose Byrne. Oh. Right, look, Michelle, here we are. We've got the jackpot counter right to the edge of the tipping point. Unfortunately, then, we've struggled a little bit. However, it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £3,250. You can walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it three final counters to put in the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, if the jackpot counter comes out, you leave with £10,000. If the jackpot counter doesn't come out, you leave with nothing. OK. The question is, would three counters be enough? Um, the jackpot counter is quite on the edge, but there are a few gaps. Obviously, if they went to the left, it would only take one. But am I willing to risk that? No, Ben, I think I'm going to take the money. OK, Michelle, I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please, Ben. Well done. Congratulations. You. You're leaving with £3,250, which is a lovely amount of money. I'm sure it can get you and the girls somewhere to go it and have will. a fab trip. Yeah, of course there is a question, because it took only six to get the jackpot counter there, and we're about to give you three more. So we're going to play out the trade okay. and see what might have happened had you been willing to take that risk. OK. <laughs> Job one. I don't think that's going to help the no. jackpot unless it does that and separates and that and squeezes. Oh! <laughs> Job two. Is that going to hit that silver one over? No. Mm. It would have come down to this. Your knees would have been shaking <laughs> now, would wouldn't have, they? Yeah. This was the third and final drop. What do you think, Michelle? I don't know, Ben. Oh, Michelle, is it going to go? Oh, Michelle, is it going to go? Oh. <laughs> How would you look at that? Oh, Michelle. Oh. I can't quite believe it didn't go. Oh. It's clinging on. I'm glad it didn't go. There's millimetres in that. But you know what? You made absolutely oh. the right decision. I did. Yeah. You're leaving with £3,250. Have you enjoyed yourself? Oh, I've had a fantastic day. Thank you so much, Ben. You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you played you. an amazing game. What a roller coaster show it was as well, there going from are. last to first, the last to first, yeah. and then. Leaving with £3,250. Well done, you. Enjoy Thank that Thank you money. so much. Thank you. So there you go. Michelle's leaving with £3,250. How close did that trade come? But if she'd taken it, she would have lost a lot because it's still in the machine. Goodness me. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on City Point. Goodbye.